So tools or battery packs running Tool Connect inside, or tools which are connected through the connector can be disabled or enabled. There's a few ways that you can do this. So if you wanted to disable just one product, this impact driver for example, this one's enabled, it's ready to go. If I want to disable that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the product here in my inventory list, I'm going to click on the uh, enable disable button there. So if I try that tool now, you'll see that one's disabled. If however you wanted to disable all of your inventory at one time, perhaps it was the end of the day and you wanted to lock down everything for the night, if you go to your main inventory screen, there's an action button which you can hit here. Very simply, you've got to disable all products there. Agree that you want to do so and then everything which is connected in your inventory is going to be disabled. So both of those methods were manual methods of disabling a product. There's one other way you can do it so that it will automatically happen if the product's outside of your vicinity. So if you go into the product and go into the actions tag and then if you go on the disable if out of range button here then what's going to happen is as soon as that product leaves your vicinity or you leave its vicinity that product's going to shut down, it's going to disable itself automatically.